Yo, what is up everyone? My name is Dom and we're going to talk about unusual options activity. Alright, let's kick it off with the disclaimer. So, disclaimer, this video is for educational purposes only. The statements made in this programming are solely the opinion of the show. They're not a specific inducement to make an investment. One must affirm their own due diligence and realize that all investments carry risk. There's no guarantee of profit. Okay, so first one I want to bring up is Hilton. Hilton uh, Worldwide Holdings, HLT, ticker. Now, this is Hilton, the hotel uh, chain company. Now, there is some unusual options activity here in these October 15th, uh, 125 strike. Now, if you look here, there's about 8,700 contracts trade, open interest of about 520. I like that volume to open interest ratio. There's some nice orders that I spotted. Now, let's take a look at the chart here. So, one thing about this chart here is, uh, now we're messing it all up. So, uh, I like how this thing is kind of holding this 50-day uh, moving average here. That's pissing me off, sorry. So, I like how this thing held this 50-day moving average here. I think it kind of does look a little weak here, though, because it did drop below the 50-day moving average, but I like how it came up and kind of closed right there. Uh, it looks like they might have reported a good quarter here because the stock traded up. Uh, uh, originally broke out of this range here, uh, this resistance here, at about $130 a share. Now, me personally, I'm probably going to add this one to my watch list and just kind of wait and see what happens with this one. I think there might be a little bit better of an entry. I don't know why this thing is doing this. Okay, so regardless, uh, Hilton is the first one I wanted to bring up. There we go. I didn't even know you could do that. Scroll back and forth. So. Next one I want to bring up here is Mara. Now, I've talked about this one on the channel before. I own the stock. I've sold a couple calls against it. I'm kind of wary selling calls against this stock in particular because this thing can be up 20% in one single day. And when it's up 20% in a single day, that's usually a good time to sell calls against it uh, because this stock is pretty volatile. Um, and you know you could get kind of caught with your pants down so to say if you short a call against the stock you own and then the stock is up 20% the next day you're gonna be on the hook for selling the stock at the strike price if the stock blows through your short strike now there's some extreme volume here in these short-term calls here looking around here this stock obviously does trade a lot of calls here it's only a $27 stock here so it does trade quite a bit of contracts but to see almost 23,000 contracts traded here expiring this Friday that are super far out of the money here, three points out of the money, stock is at about 27, people in here are buying the 30 strike call, that's a pretty far out of the money call to make a bet on here. Now I like that the stock here uh, did not, we did not see the 50 day cross over the 200 day here because that would mean we're losing significant momentum in the stock here. I like how on this MACD indicator we're coming above uh, the zero line here. So we're gaining some momentum here. We're not in an overbought condition uh, with relation to the RSI here. And if you take a look at this on, on balance volume here, uh, we're kind of seeing some divergence here because the on balance volume here is relatively uh, moving in a straight line here while the stock has declined significantly in this uh, time period here. So with the on balance volume staying relatively consistent in a straight line here and the stock moving uh, sharply down and the on balance volume not reflecting a sharp move down here uh, you know with adding the volume on up days subtracting the volume on down days that's how this on balance volume is is created here so with this divergence here uh, it shows me that people are still accumulating shares here and that momentum is building here we're not in an overbought condition uh, and you know the volume here is staying relatively consistent people are adding to this on uh, 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 updates significantly to keep this line um, to keep this line consistent and straight here. So I like to see that divergence. Usually when you see divergence in a momentum indicator from the stock price, the stock price is going to uh, follow the momentum indicator. So in this case, I would like to see uh, Mara move up here because of the divergence from this on balance volume. Now that is not a sure thing. Uh, that is just something that I've come to find, you know, especially with 
RSI divergence, uh, you know, y'all can look that up. That's a really important one, RSI divergence. Uh, when you see the stock price diverging from the RSI, the RSI is moving one way, the stock price is moving in another way, the stock price will usually turn around and follow uh, uh, follow the uptrend of the RSI. So that's something really important uh, in technical analysis to realize when you see those divergences. So thanks to everyone who's been, who's been subscribing. I really appreciate it. Make sure to keep the subscribing up. Make sure to share this video with somebody uh, who likes trading and we'll see you in the next one.